through my photos and I realized that I have some childhood story photos that I haven't used in a while. And today is thir themes on the 13th. We're playing along with Priscilla and we are pulling out our sports themed stuff. So I found a photo from 20 years ago of me playing softball. Now I only picked up the paper. I'm sorry, I only picked up the stickers of this collection and not the paper or anything. So I had to improvise and find my own paper or some way to do that. So I went ahead and improvised. This is a Distress Oxide watercolor-esque paper that I made. So with my glass now, I just put my ink on here, took a brush and drew some hearts. Didn't use any templates. This is totally my drawing. And I started with lightest to darkest color. You can see it does turn the color, you know, so it, it turns purple where the blue and the red meet, which is fine. I don't really care. I think this turned out really cute. It brings in the colors, which is what I really wanted to happen. So then I was like, okay, I have no paper. Well, I can go ahead and create my own paper and I use the smooshing technique on these photos or on the background of these cardstocks and uh, put all three colors in there. So that is going to land right about there or right about there actually. Okay. So then, well, I still don't really have a title going for this. Maybe I could do slow pitch or whatever softball. That's fine, but <clears throat> I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and use some dyes and stamps. So my, I stamped the years on here, which actually I'm pretty impressed that you can see it pretty well. This is with the VersaFine, which I'll link down below. Really like that ink. Makes my stamping look so good. So I pulled out two different dyes to make my layout title. And it's going to be still playing the game. So I picked skinny alphas both in the uppercase and lowercase because I knew I had a limited space here if I had done wider for example these dies I wouldn't have be able to get my title on there so this worked out perfectly now I'm like okay how do I decorate this because I have all of these things and not really feeling them so I pulled out the border and this is going to go underneath my photo frame there and on underneath the title so my softballs and then I also have a, another thing and I'm going to cover up my mistake right there so it's going to go random out there so I've got kind of a diagonal design going because my concentration is here and here and that's my super easy layout don't forget to check those childhood stories that you might have put away because you never know what you're going to find. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.